How are you? Hi, I'm very well. Good. So if you could start just by introducing yourself. Hello, I'm Leia DeVos. I'm chairman of Asian Art in London. And I work for Christie's as regional managing director for Asian and World Art. We have six teams in the regions, from Chinese, Japanese, Islamic Indian, contemporary Indian. And you're currently working from home, I presume. Um, at the moment, we're in lockdown, so um, I'm working from home and yeah. keeping very busy uh, being in touch with all our teams in London and Paris. And you're lucky enough to be isolating with a few objects at home. Uh, just a few <laughs> objects, yeah. uh, if you're thinking about uh, Asian objects. Um, as I work for an auction house, I've never really bought anything uh, because I think one's taste becomes so expensive that it's not affordable. <laughs> but I have a few things at home that, uh, which I inherited from my uh, grandfather, who was um, the Dutch ambassador to China in the 1940s. And so I can show you some of those if you like. Please. I'll show you um, my favorite object, which is this Chinese uh, Huang Huali table. Huang Huali is a, a wood, uh, which is family of the rosewood and um, often comes from the island Hainan. It's a wonderful, warm, honey tone uh, with sort of a feathery grain in it. I love the shape. It's extremely simple. The prototypes are 16th, 17th century in China. Uh, this one is a little bit later. It will be around 1800, but it still has those wonderful forms. And it goes very well together with, obviously, Chinese art, but also modern art or an old master painting. Mm. Which is what you've done, as I can see. Yeah, just a few little objects. So um, next to these beautiful tulips, I have a yellow dish, which is from the Daoguang period. It has a mark at the back, mm -hmm. Daoguang mark and period. Um, here's a little archaic bronze finial of a staff in the shape of a bird. Mm. Um, and here is a little scholar's rock, which I picked up during a walk in Lebanon last summer. It reminded me very much of the Chinese scholar's rocks. And it is something that's inspired uh, Chinese collectors from the Sung period onward to the present day. There's a contemporary artist called Zhan Wang, uh, born in 1962, who makes huge um, scholars rocks out of stainless steel. And there will be one offered in our next uh, online sale mm. uh, between the 21st and the 30th of April, lot 53. Um, so it's it's a wonderful object, mm. um, you know, it's taken from nature, but contemporary artists have also um, allowed that to inspire them to create something very contemporary mm. and opens up a discussion between the natural world and the artificial world. Wow. Um, so yeah. how's, how's working from home for you currently? How's it affecting the Christie's business model? Um, I would say it's mainly affected the Christie's business model in that we spend our entire day on video conferencing, yeah. like this one on Zoom. And actually, it's very nice because one uh, speaks to many uh, colleagues at the same time. Uh, I almost feel that the communication has intensified, although we're working remotely. Mm. Um, in terms of the business itself, uh, we have tripled our amount of uh, online sales uh, in the months April, May, and it is everything from existing sales that we have put online or new theme sales that we've come up with. Uh, one was in the press this morning. It's a um, hundred artists chosen by the Saatchi Gallery, uh, organized by the post-war department, as well as... Um, there's an Andy Warhol online sale, which is being organized um, for the uh, um, for an emergency relief uh, of artists. For myself, it depends a little bit uh, with which team I'm working. For instance, our London Chinese sale, which was supposed to take place on the 12th of May. We will be sending about half of the items to uh, Paris, uh, and they will have their sale on the 23rd of June. So uh, we're quite confident that that can take place. Um, we have an Islamic Indian sale, which was due to take place in April. 
and has now been uh, pushed backwards to the 9th of June. So with that in mind, how are Asian Art in London dealing with the current situation? Asian Art in London is uh, trying to make its presence digitally uh, much more prominent. The directors are meeting uh, every week, if not twice a week, through Zoom. And we're planning to digitalize uh, much more and speaking about plans for what we can do with the website. And we hope in this way to uh, maintain that presence uh, in, in the two weeks that we've organized around Islamic and Indian art mid-October and uh, East Asian art in the beginning of November. Brilliant. Well, I think that's um, that's everything. Yes. Cool. Thank okay. you so much, Leila. Thank you, Cool. Bye. Bye. Bye.